it's reasonable for them to want the event to end. But the question is, is whether the solution is worse than the original problem. We're going to close the campus to outsiders and do everything we can to make this quad that's become ground zero for these marijuana enthusiasts as inhospitable as possible. Take a look. You're going to have to really want to come and smoke marijuana on the quad to put up with barriers, uh, police restrictions, and smelly fish fertilizer. Well, you know, what we're trying to do is create a disincentive for people to keep coming here uh, for 420. Seven News reporter Tyler Lopez on the CU Boulder campus. Tyler, much smaller crowds there, but we know of at least four arrests. This is exactly why the school started preparing a year ago, right after an estimated 10,000 people lit up. This year, officers arriving constantly, stationed at every corner, police tape blocking everyone. As of 345, three arrests were made, three young men deciding to cross the yellow line. It's not about marijuana anymore. Ever since the school kept us off the quad, it's about the right to assemble. They wanted to get arrested this day based on, on those comments. They were given an opportunity to leave uh, without facing criminal charges. Around 1.30 this afternoon, three individuals who identified themselves as students challenged the closure by crossing the police line around the Norland quad. I was, I'm, I'm carrying a backpack and I'm going to step on the field and a police officer is telling me I'm trespassing. Who do you think is trespassing, a student or a police officer? Um, I'm protesting. But also here just off campus is Marijuana Max. I'm here to be peaceful and have a, you know, civil disobedient protest. And I think it's really unfair that this campus has, you know, snuffed that out of their students. This year, in an effort to stop this, only students and faculty are allowed on campus to stop what seemingly could be stopped. What I say, what I say, we get the students with us. Get the students with us to help this mission, to help this mission, and get this protest started. Let's go! where we followed the Occupy protest all the way from Canyon. Now, these people are not just students, yet they are on campus, and they all have something to say. numbers and we were completely peaceful and just came together to protest. It's a beautiful thing. This is a beautiful campus and a beautiful state to do it in.